what is going on guys it is basically the end of january so it's not all that warm but we are back in the dunes actually i don't think i've been in the dunes on this channel but on the other channel i have today we're going to be testing a 3d printed dart this is entirely 3d printed and i got a bunch of other ones this one's pretty solid infill and i want to see how fast can you accelerate a 3d printed dart so this is just a pneumatic cannon about a four foot section of pipe there and a six foot barrel here and there's just a little piece of wood, some paper, just to stop it. This paper does a pretty good job of stopping things. So we're gonna see. And after this, I'm gonna work up to a vacuum cannon, and then I have a little surprise. But basically, the goal is to get one of these or one of the other ones that are lighter to go supersonic. It's really windy out here, so I'm sorry if the wind is in the mic. I can't tell until I go to edit. So yeah, let's see, I'm gonna pump it up. I don't have a gauge because I bought the cheapest bike pump there is in Walmart and it turned and I thought it had a gauge, I didn't look. So yeah, let's pump it up and let's see what it does. It's gonna be a short video today because one, it's cold and two, I think, I think this might work. I also wanna say I printed a bunch of these. Some of them are completely hollow. So this way they will have the greatest chance of accelerating because there's less mass to accelerate. So we'll see, I think the light ones will go definitely go the fastest, obviously. They're gonna accelerate, but I don't know if they'll carry the momentum into there. So I'm gonna start with a light one and we'll work up, but I have a feeling this light one, it only weighs a couple grams, so it's gonna come out really fast. So I guess we'll find out, and I will show you what I had to do to make this happen. All right, because this ball valve right here is extremely hard to turn, I decided to take, take liberty and make an adapter. It's just a thick part that goes right onto the extension, or goes right into your ratchet, so then you can get some leverage and just crank it. The only thing is you have to turn this much farther because if you know how angles work and so this has to turn farther, but the force is easier. So hopefully I'll be able, be able to open the valve fast enough to get the dart to fly out at its maximum velocity. So I'll have to figure it out. I tried a bunch of different things. It wouldn't loosen up and I wish I knew that before I bought the valve, but it's just a pain, a pain in the butt to get it to work. So without any further ado, let's shoot some things. All right, test one. Let's see how bad this can go. Three. Oh, let me aim it a little better. Two, one. So uh, I probably blocked the view, but so far, the first one fired. I can see the dart destroyed itself, but it also destroyed that piece of plastic. Is it all in here? Oh, sorry, let me get you. So it destroyed that piece of wood, destroyed that one piece of paper a little bit. You can see it just shredded it. And here's the cone. So I fear this one will probably explode a bit. I don't know, it must have just vaporized. So it's probably gonna be, I don't know. Uh, still the garbage in there. Wonder, this is a hollow one, hollow one. I think I have a less hollow one. I made them all in different, uh, Different, th oh, there we go. This one's not hollow, but it is lighter than the other one. So I'm gonna pump it back up. I'm gonna try again, and let's see, this one has a little bit more mass to it, so it should do a little bit better. It's so cold. It's also tiring when you're cold and tired from pumping. Um, yeah, it's really windy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple more shots with this. And then I'm gonna try a vacuum cannon because I'm out of breath, sorry. If you guys know or don't know, if you suck all the air out of a tube and put like mylar on the ends of it and rupture it, I could be wrong, I'll fix my numbers here, but air rushes in at like three to five times the speed of sound. So in theory, this dart could be going really fast. It's like a ping pong ball cannon, people call it. So that'll be next. So far this worked, let me try again because I think what happened is that dart was just too light. This one seems to be a little bit tighter in the barrel, so should work. I'm gonna put you in a better spot, so hopefully I don't stand in the way because I think I did last time, but I'll put it here and let you guys see. Let me know what you think. Now, right, I'll put it right here. Oh, let's try right here. You know, let me, I'll go on the other side and do it, and maybe I won't block the view as bad. There we go, engineering. Where's he gonna go? That way. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to think how I want 
guess I'll do it like this. Let's see, three, two, one. That one's stuck in it. I crushed my finger on the valve. It's okay. Fingers grow. Fingers grow back. Let's see. This dart got stuck in it. So I'm assuming that had to do with the velocity. This one didn't break either. So it either was going slower or it's just that it's stronger. But paper is, oh, you can see all this, it's all crushed together. All right, so I think this one hit harder. It's hard to see in there, but it just shredded all this paper. Oh, it keeps going. Did a lot more damage than I thought. So I'm gonna put the heavy dart in. We're gonna see how well the heavy one does and we're gonna take this information as we got it. So in my mind, and you guys please feel calm, correct me if I'm wrong. Man, my finger hurts. Um, I'm going to use the lighter darts in the vacuum cannon. There goes the pump, everything's falling over in the wind, including the bag. Um, I'm gonna use the lighter ones in the bag and the dart vacuum cannon because it should be able to have a little more uh, velocity. And that's what I'm going for. I wanna make these things go supersonic. That's the end goal. I want a sonic boom for my 3D printed dart. So the heavy one doesn't seem to be going as fast, but let's put the heaviest one I have in, test that, and we will come back out here. Hopefully when it's a bit warmer. <laughs> All right. All right, I also flipped the bag around, so hopefully it'll be a little more clear where it hits, the damage it does. And I pumped this one up as much as I could. I don't have a gauge, so like I said, the last one, I could have just pumped it up wrong. Could have had half as much pressure. But this one, I think I have the most pressure in it now. Heaviest dart, so let's see what it does. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Three, two, one. Well, that one did the most. Let's walk over and see how it did. Well, that one's stuck in here pretty far. But you can see, paper's actually really good at stopping things. I've learned on my other channel. Check it out, that's beyond the, or beyond tinted, not beyond the tint. Wow, that did much more than I think, figured it would have. And you can see it just crack, pushed everything in. Pretty good job. I mean, it got, did a lot more damage than I would have thought. And as you can see, the dart's still perfectly intact. I mean, it bent the, bent the nose a little bit, and this one wasn't the best print. This is on my old printer. But you can see the paper stuck to it, got in there, did pretty well. So time to see if the vacuum cannon can do better, because in theory, it should be going much faster than this cannon. And then if that doesn't get supersonic, I have a little trick up my sleeve to make sure that these darts go supersonic. They will be a bit smaller. That's all I'll give you for a hint but they will be going a bit bit faster. Probably, I don't know how fast this is going. I might have to get a chronograph or whatever they're called, but it'll be going a lot faster. So I'm gonna look kind of sketchy carrying all this pipe back out of the sand dunes. So if you guys liked it, drop a comment. What do you guys want to see next? I'm down to try a bunch of things. Obviously, I'm not afraid to go out in the winter with a cannon in the sand dunes. So thanks guys.